the first thing I noticed is your opening with the Bach cello suite. Uh, your recording of the Bach sonatas is like one of my favorite recordings of Bach on any instrument. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's very interesting to hear you playing the cello suites. It's different music. It's still by Bach, but very different approach to the guitar. I wonder if you could like talk about the difference between the sonatas and the cello suite. What attracted you to this music now? Yeah. Well, I think it's a really nice. It's a lovely piece, the the the, the cello suite and. And, uh, and it's very positive. I mean, it's not, it's not a dark piece in any of it, you know. And, and I think that that's that's a big difference between at least a couple of the minor sonatas, and uh, and also other than the fact that, that it's also you know dance movements, you know. As far as the uh, the uh, the arranging part of it, I mean, the differences and in the violin ones, there are a lot more notes, so less needs to be added. And the cello also it needs it needs you know, but um, um, you know I mean I just I just try to do something that 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 I that I like, and that I think could possibly pass as as Bach himself you know. Moving from Bach to Scarlatti, they're born the same year. They're both like great bro composers, but so very very different. They have some simila similarities or some of the uh, the line right in the polyphony and it. Uh, um, that's about it. Right. And I guess these binary forms, you know, like, you know, whether it's the elements of the grant of the sonatas, the AP form, you know. But on the, other than that, the content is, is really different. I mean, it's, it's, it's a different feel together. I mean, usually with Scarlatti, people talk about the Spanish. Uh, you know, influencing him. And there are a couple of pieces in, in the ones that I've played, if not three really, that have a bit of a Spanish sound to them. But, um, you know, I mean, it's, you know, to me, Scalari sounds very, you know, Southern Europe, you know, I mean, you know, obviously some Spanish and, and Bach is just very, very Germanic, very, you know, very uh, Baroque, you know, Central Europe. You picked two composers that contrast e with each other very well, even though they're within the same genre. Uh -huh. um, Albanus and Turina. Um, yeah. Albanus is like the probably the beginning of this movement. Turina is maybe a generation later. Yeah. Um, how do you look at the difference between Albanus and Turina? Well, you know, actually, it's a. Uh... I mean, Turina is a little more impressionistic in some of the harmonies. You know, it's more modern. Uh, it's the the forms are, are a little bit, little bit more maybe capricious or whimsical. I don't know. Albanis, Albanis seems to, it's, well. It's more melodic also. I think Albanis, you know, is more melodic and he, he has a there's a natural progression to the pieces. With, with Turina, I'm not so sure that it is that way. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, yeah. you know, especially in the in the sonata, you know, and the connections between the first and the last movement and. You know, but uh, but I was thinking of that in uh, uh, as far as Baroque the first and Spanish the second, but two contrasting composers because I think I think contrast is really important, especially for us guitarists. You know, you know because of the small sound of the instrument. And then you've got this wonderful arrangement of um, a piece written by the great flamenco guitarist, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, San Luca. San Luca, yeah. yeah. So, could you tell us a little bit about that piece? Well, it's, 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 it's San Luca is a piece that, that uh, I kept listening to it, I, and I was just falling in love with the piece. I mean, it, the whole piece, the recording that San Luca gave me, is about an hour long. So, mm -hmm. I just, I mean, it's actually two guitars, so I just chose the movements and and redid the writing for one guitar, but that has influenced how I play Spanish music. And, and for example, the, the way in which I'm playing this Albanese, you know, is really different from, from the, way, the way I did Albanese at the beginning. Mm -hmm. It has moved a little bit towards the Yobet Segovia way of doing things, mm -hmm. which I think is actually correct, I think.